Hi guys, episode 14, starting off with 91 range, on another worm's task as well, getting this quite a lot at the moment. Wow, okay, very rare drop coming in here, Dragon Spear from Fire Giants. Final task before I switch to some Wilderness Slayer, um, this is 79 Slayer here, one more for Necreals, that'll be amazing. This was the task I was looking for. I want to try getting a dragon pickaxe because I, I refuse to do any mining past 80 without a dragon pick. It just feels weird when I'm mining and I, I do actually quite enjoy mining. So let's do some, I can't remember what the boss's name is, Calvarion. First thing I need to do before I even do this task is the haunted mine quest. I still haven't done it. I need to get my salve amulet. I hate this boss so much, but that's the quest done. Whilst I'm here doing the diary, I'm going to show you guys why it was amazing to get that charged, trimmed glory from the clue scrolls. Because, for whatever reason, you need access to the Heroes Guild to recharge them. It doesn't really make much sense to me, but it is what it is. What do I need to do here? Now I need to do this, I think. There we go. Another slight diversion, I had to grab one of these muddy keys, took 24 kills. People used to try and scam with these back in the day, I'm, I'm sure I recall people outside Varrock West Bank selling these for like a few mil at a time, just because nobody knew what they were. Right, that's the medium done, I'll go get my rewards. I could do up to the hard tier right now, but I'm going to wait until I get assigned one of the bosses to do that, and then I'll probably just finish the rest off after the boss task. There we go. Put these into herb, of course. Boom. Right, one more thing. Just made my first batch of Slayer Rings. I've, I've never really used these in the past, to be honest with you, but they're so useful for the teleports and stuff. And then it also helps for this final bit of Tarn's Slayer here for my self amulet. Let's get this done, and then we can kill the boss. We're just gonna send it this is the gear not the best in all honesty but let's just see how it goes this is a pure test run so far first kill coming up let's see what we get wine of zami okay that's not bad death runes not bad not bad okay that was a good uh, first proper trip Still making the odd mistake here and there, but that's to be expected. <clears throat> Excuse me. But uh, yeah, this is not bad actually. It's actually nice to be doing a bit of bossing content for once. But um, I'm just realizing this is by far one of the best ways to get a dragon pickaxe on an Iron Man because you're not really in any danger. You just run under 20 wilderness and you don't lose anything. And you don't actually have to be on task due to the fact that you have a salve amulet. So it's just it's a win win all round, to be honest. There we go, that didn't take too long. How many kills was that? 174. Slight little DPS upgrade with this. Change the gear up slightly. I've switched the monk robe so I look less tempting to kill. And I've brought the black defender that I've just got. That is 20 kills. Nice food drop. Six and a few serums. Shout out to Purely Bold. In a bit of a questing mood, Ascent of Arceus is done. I'm working towards a kingdom divided at the moment so I can get thralls on the go. Another one done, Depths of Despair. Another one done, Forsaken Tower. And that's the final prerequisite done. Tale of the Righteous finished. Oh, there we go. What a boring quest, man. Just a bunch of running around talking to people. And the odd boss fight. But just, there's just no need for it. <laughs> there's absolutely no need. Anyway, he's done. Uh, Herb Lore, of course. Nice. We've got the Book of the Dead anyway. Oh, I just completed a, 
a diary task. I forgot about that. Fuck it, I'll take it. If this guy wants to kill me for 100 blood wounds, I'll, I'll get a hard task out of him. Oh, fair enough, dude. Fair enough. Oh, nice. It, the casts on players do count. That's good. Right, let's go kill the bosses. There we go. That's the first one. Managed to get a decent spot for the Guthix one. One remaining after this. And that's number three done. Right, let's get the cape. There we go. The first ever time I've actually imbued a god cape. That is pretty funny, to be honest. But we've got it. 82 magic. I'm running a bit low on cash, so I'm doing the best money maker in the game, which is obviously air orbs. Okay, we've just got the fun easy bit now. I got 77 crafting doing these as well. So, once I've finished arcing these alongside a little bit of Slayer, that should be about 500 mil, I think. Back at Calvarion for some kills and hopefully some good drops. I've had Blood Runes like three kills in a row. That's crazy. I'm getting them all back from... After uh, Majorina 2 here, this is nice. I'm going to spend a few of my Slayer points here. I'm going to ex start extending some of my tasks. I'm really hoping I get a Black Dragon's task, because I want to do some KBD. So I've extended them, just in case I do get them. Dust Devils, because they're really good for bursting. And then I'm tempted to do Necreals and Gargoyles, but I haven't actually had Gargoyles since I've been able to kill them at all, I'm almost 80 Slayer, which is kind of crazy. Um, we're going to do Revenants too, because I do plan to start killing those, or at least trying to kill those in the future. Took a bit of damage there because I leveled up, but I am now 85 hit points, 78 combat. Let's see if we get anything for 100 kill count. Nope, never mind, let's keep going. Oh my god. The exact same drop rate. I knew this was going to happen. I, I honestly knew this was going to happen. I was thinking about this earlier on. Damn. Okay. Well, we've got one unique. Hopefully the pickaxe will be next. Oh my goodness. Wow, okay. That's double the drop rate of the pickaxe, but that is not too long after the Dragon 2H. Holy shit. I'm going to have to go bank that. Yeah, this is an all-round upgrade for me. I don't actually have a decent ring yet. I don't have any of the Dagonoth rings or anything like that, so this will be very nice. An extra 4 prayer bonus for this uh, activity. Okay, this is an interesting task. Callisto. I'm going to go for the full amount, to be honest. 40 kills. Maybe this is where I'll get the dragon pickaxe from instead. Another great milestone for any Iron Man account. Stamina potions. This is amazing. Now I can... I'd need to do some more construction training, but this will give me access to a stamina pool. It's also going to help with Herbivore, which I'm looking to start doing because Wilderness Slayer has drain the crap out of my prayer potion supply and they're something that I basically I'm always going to need on this account uh oh oh there we go first ever RTO kill I just messed up at the end there but that is actually a really easy boss to kill oh my goodness I just have to run it around the room like fucking Sarah Domin. I ran out of runes by accident. <laughs> right, I need to bring more runes next trip. Nice restore drop at the end, though. 
There we go, kill number 10, 25% of the way done already on the task. Oh nice, combat achievement, that's cool. Right, that's 20 kill count. I can now finally peek in the cave and stop ruining people's kills. Right, that's 30 kills, 10 more to go. Yep. Cannonballs, not bad. Well, that was a good uh, good first RTO task. No dragon pickaxe, unfortunately. Oh, wow. Another unique with all the dragon pickaxe. Skull of Veteon. Oh, my God. I should probably go bank that, even though I, I have no use for that yet. That is also a much higher drop rate than the pickaxe. It's one, six, 1 in 618. As opposed to the pickaxe, which is one in three five eight. Kill count one hundred and fifty for wines of Zami. I still need to imbue it, but the Ring of the Gods is perfect for tasks like worms, where I can just sit here AFK. So nice to have it. Just got ninety two range. Big boy levels now. Oh my god. Dragon 2H, okay. Oh wow, I just realised I've, I've done something wrong. I've been killing this entire invent, which has been quite a lot of kills. I've done with the glory on, for god's sake. <laughs> oh man. I've been hitting like a beast as well. I need to go get my salve out of the bank. God damn it. What an idiot. Oh my, what? And a longbone? I don't, what? What is the rate on longbone? Well, it's not a curved one, so it's probably not as bad as I'm expecting, but that's a third dragon to H, man. Eighty-six hit points. Right, this trip will determine whether or not my video is released on time or not. I need to get the dragon pickaxe this trip, or else my video will be late I don't know why it took me so long to realize this but I don't actually need pray melee here I just need my combat prayers until the dog spawn and then I can pray melee I've been wasting so much prayer here oh well I know for the future now oh that is a nice drop that's the first time I've had that what the hell that was very nice I love how I was just talking about saving prayer and prayer potions and everything after I've wasted loads of prayer pots. And then I go and get that drop to get them back. That's pretty nice. Happy with that. Right, that's 200 kill count. Still no dragon pickaxe. Damn, this is turning out to be a bit more of a grind than I expected. But I'm still technically not dry. Got like 150 kills to go before I'm dry. Hopefully we'll get it before then though. Just got 85 strength. I think I'm one level away. Yeah, one more attack or strength level for 80 combat. Then that'll be... I'll have the ability to get black dragons and black demons as my uh, slayer tasks. That's kill count 250. Still no pickaxe. I just missed it because I didn't think the superior would give me that much XP, but I'm now 80 Slayer, which is Necreals, I believe. Nice. It is. I really hope to get that task soon. That's amazing. Right, we've officially reached a uh, sorry, 300 kill count. I did not expect to be here for this amount of time, but here we are. Still technically not dry. I think it's like 356. But either way, I'm, I'm enjoying this boss, to be honest, but I would like the drop at this point just because I want to finish my video. Right, we are officially dry for the dragon pickaxe. That is kind of crazy, but I am enjoying this boss, to be honest. The, the loot is amazing, so let's see how long it actually takes for us to get the pickaxe.
Oh my god. Another D2H. Oh my god, it's finally fucking happened. Get in there. 381 kill count. I'll take it. That's not bad. Let's get out of here. Right, getting towards the end of the video now. I've got a few things to open. I'm going to do these Lauren's keys first because I've only got two of them. Rubies. Iron ore. Okay, not the best. Alright guys, so as I'm opening these, I just wanted to mention that I am going to be starting a clan. So for anyone that's between 1 and 30 defense with similar type of build to mine, and you want to join a clan, it's going to be more of a social thing for now, but in the future I definitely plan to do like events and stuff. So if you want to join that, then please join my chat channel, and I'll sh I'm going to try and be in there a lot more now, and uh, I'll, I'll get you invited in. But otherwise, we've got these keys to open, and then I've got a few caskets as well. Not the best drop so far, but I like the the steel bars and the gold ore and stuff. Okay, that's those. I'll just go get the caskets. Quick price check there as well. 1.5 mil, that's nice. Right, let's open the caskets. Easy's first. Oh, nice. Some uh, more god robe legs. I've only got one medium this episode. Oh my god, wow. Nice. That's amazing. One. That's one pair of boots out of three. That is crazy. Holy shit, that was really unexpected. Okay, cool. Alcables. Not the best so far, but lots of GP. Even more GP. Okay, cool. I'm uh, I'm very happy with those either way. That's uh, the Wizzy Boots is amazing. Awesome. Okay, thank you very much, guys.